In today's video, I'm gonna share with you the easiest way to connect up to three external monitors to work with your Apple M1 or M2 MacBook Air running Mac OS Ventura. External monitors are a massive workflow advantage. Whether you're doing video or photo editing, running spreadsheets or multitasking on any type of project, having more than one screen is great for your productivity. This dongle is the easiest solution to get multiple external displays working without question. Additionally, you can also use the screen built into your Mac or close the lid and it will work without any problems at all. Just to let you know ahead of time, this setup is for up to three 1080p 60 Hertz monitors only. So if you're looking for a 4K device, this one won't be for you. Unlike other setups, this is one of the easiest to get going. The Quamzy H1 dongle comes preloaded with the software drivers required to run up to three external displays at once, or two, or one, however many you choose to use. Once installed, you can find the settings on the top right of the toolbar. These drivers will auto update periodically simply by quitting the program and relaunching it. If you're wondering where you can get the drivers, they come pre-installed on the SD card when you buy one of these units. I really hope that Quamzy update their website so you can download it and install it from there and just keep updated with the latest additions. Depending on how many screens you need to run, you'll also need HDMI cables. Since this is a 1080p 60 Hertz device, it should work fine with most modern HDMI cables. I'll leave some recommendations down in the description box below. The setup process is a breeze. Start by plugging the MacBook into its power supply and then plug the Quamzy H1 into the other port. If you don't have a spare USB-C or Thunderbolt port on your computer, you can also pass power through the H1 thanks to its smart design. Now, some people mentioned in the comment section on my last video that passing power through a dongle to the computer isn't always ideal when it comes to battery life longevity, but I haven't had any issues with this over the last five months or so since I got it. Also notice that there's no power cable for the dongle. It's simply powered by the computer, allowing you to free up a spot on the wall socket and have less cable clutter than other solutions. Also note the Quamzy H1 will only work with monitors that support HDMI. If you've got an old DVI port, for example, you might be out of luck. Once the MacBook and monitors are connected, they'll default to mirror mode. Now I have mine running in extended mode because I've used this before, and also it gives me far more real estate to work with. Thanks to the software bundled with the Quamzy H1, you can simply use the instant view option to go between mirrored mode and extended mode. If you wanna work with the lid down on the laptop, you can simply close it and the monitors will flash and then come back on. The flash is completely normal because the computer has to update its configuration to see the monitors that are currently active. To make sure nothing turns off when you close the lid, just make sure you have the power cable connected to the Mac. If you're using it on battery only, you may need to adjust the power settings to make sure that the computer doesn't go to sleep. But I always leave this connected to power anytime I'm using the dongle. Let's cover some of the frequently asked questions I saw come up on my old video. Will this work with a 4K monitor? It will, but only up to 1080p maximum. Just make sure your 4K monitor can also support 1080p. Most can. I've tested this with a 4K display and it was running fine at 1080p. The second question was in relation to system performance and does the computer lag when I plug in the Quamzy H1? No, it runs great. Being that this is an external GPU of sorts, I didn't notice any difference when it came to just general tasks. When it comes to heat dissipation and noise, the Quamzy H1 has 15 dB of self noise. Now I tested this and I think it's more like 21 just by using my little sound pressure level meter over here. But that said, it's still not loud enough to cause me any problems working here in the room. But if you've got it in a position where it's right next to you, you can hear it. I don't think though it's loud enough to be picked up on my shirt microphone. The fan keeps the unit cool. So I think this trade-off is great, being that we get as many features and benefits as we do. At the end of the day, the Quamzy H1 has really simplified my process anytime I'm looking to run external monitors with my MacBook Air. If you wanna check out the Quamzy H1, I'll link it down in the description box below. Thanks for watching, catch you soon. See ya.